गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम प्रोफेसर संतोष कुमार एरिया फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंट्स चंद्रगुप्त इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट पटना टूडे इन नॉलेज सीरीज फोर विल डिस्कस द गेम चेंजर पॉलिसी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट आई बी सी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी इंसॉलवेंसी एंड बैंक ऑफ सी कोर्ट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी नाउ वाई वी रिक्वायर आई बी सी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी whenever we have the severe haircut or the loss of assets or high npa or non performing assets the contracts may not be honored between debtors and the creditors and creditors want the issuers so we have only two objective either the form should have a form should have a resolutions or it should be liquidated right so how the government has taken the further states here they have created a structural structure four or five tier structural structure that you can find in ibc 2016 the first institutional structure is ibbi insolvency bankruptcy board of india this is very similar to rbi in banking sebi in a capital market i mean they have the regulatory oversight they will give all the potential guidelines for insolvency professional agencies and insolvency professionals right now the second institutional structure that we have is ipa insolvency professional agencies the mandate of ipe ipa is code of conduct of ipa they will prepare the code of conduct and they will conduct the examinations of insolvency professionals the next institutional structure is ip the ip has the mandate of managing the entire insolvency process they will also form the creditors committee now by forming the creditors committee they will make the process completely democratic and Correct, right? The next institutional structure that we have, IU, Information Utility, Information Bank. The purpose is efficient data management. How will you do it? You will collect the data, collate the data, and disseminate it. I mean, you will have a single storage point where data is collected, collated. and disseminated to various parties whoever required right so the basic advantage of this is information symmetry in the market will increase you don't have the problem of lack of data right so the information symmetry will go up and will be much more confident in the market and the next is nclt national company law tribunal or the debt recovery tribunal they are the adjudicating authorities they will approve the resolutions they will initiate the resolutions they will appoint the insolvency professionals i mean the complete resolution plan right from approval to the final approval it is the mandate of adjudicating authorities right so finally there will come with the verdict like either the resolution plan prepared by the ip insolvency professional either it will be approved or it will be rejected and they will order for liquidation of the form now we have the mind keep with this ibc 2016 what are the advantages that we have so let us look at the advantages first of all this code is unified now you don't have sika you don't have any other provisional or presidential act right you don't have other acts so the multiplicity of law and overlapping jurisdiction is normally ruled out you can only approach nclt and drt unified place right at par with global norms usa and uk can resolve the insolvency in one year we can now also we have also the mandate of resolving it within 270 days up to one year time bound 
democratic collective we have seen because the IP will form the creditors committee and make the process democratic and collective. This IBC 2016 also have the penal provision for the malfeasance, right? Now, having said this, you will have the mind, you, you will have the idea, then what are the issues, what are the problems with this act? It's still the future issues that need to be resolved by the government is cross water insolvency issues. If something happens beyond the boundary, cross border insolvency issues. And secondly, whatever is done by the IP, whatever the resolution activity is carried out by the IP, how will you ensure the performance of IP? Do you have any performance bond furnished by IPA? So far we do not have these provisions, but government can have a relook on these two issues. So this is all about the IBC 2016 Game Changer Act by the government. Wish you all the best.